So I recently came across this interesting book which I'm intrigued to share. It's called the 80-20 rule and believe it or not, it applies to you. Yes, you directly. Let me give you an examples. 80% of company's output is produced by 20% of its workers. 80% of search engine results visitors come from 20% of the keywords. 80% of success comes from 20% of your ideas. 20% of your phone apps comes from 80% of the usage. And 20% of cities have 80% of the population. The list goes on and on. So what is the 80-20 rule? If you're giving me examples, you say, well, the 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto principle, basically states that roughly 80% of results come from 20% of efforts. This principle has been employed to every single field you can think of, whether it's business, economics, time management, personal development. There's so many different books you can explore and discuss the application of the 20 rule in different contexts. One really interesting book that I read was The 80-20 Principle, The Secret of Achieving More with Less by Richard Koch. In this book, Richard expands upon the idea of the 80-20 rule and explores how it can be leveraged to produce more, to build more efficiency, effectiveness both in your personal and your professional life. He encourages readers to focus their time and energy and resources on these vital few to maximize the impact of the 80% decision making. A key area is continuous improvement. We all look to improve. We don't want to be standing still. So what you need to really do is basically you need to concentrate on the 20% that gets you the 80% effort because you want, you want to try to leverage the that 20% to get the, the maximum return. And this can be applied to everybody in, in their lives. So it's, it's really important that you look at what area you excel at. Now, one example I can give, for example, is like when you're, when you're doing e-commerce, for example, 80% of your sales come from 20% of your products. So you need to look at which products are generating the most sales and the returns and what can you do to maybe maximize it, maybe do some sort of add-ons, promotions. It is also always ways of different ways to explore to look at how you can maximize your returns and also another example is your audience as well you need to look at who your audiences are for example if they're a specific age gender or ethnic background where your product suits best it's better to maybe use marketing channels such as facebook ads to try to target those individuals specifically because that's where majority of your product sales are coming from so there you are guys the 80 20 law which is a very interesting law and it does apply to everybody in their areas of life there's no way about it what i advise you to do when you go away from watching this video is look at areas in your life just generally as well day-to-day -day life and look at examples of where the 80 20 law applies that could be your starting point there you are guys if you like this video today i really appreciate it if you like comment share subscribe to our youtube channel and i'm going to put in a whole lot more self-development content i'll see you in the next one